hello to each and every one of you thank you so much for tuning back again into our channel okay yeah so please don't forget to subscribe for more lesson comments okay please click that red subscribe button okay mm -hmm. so today we're going to be looking at river capture okay so this question okay is going to um, help us to understand at least deeper concepts of river capture by the way it's going to be a very quick lesson okay yeah so on the other side we have figure 2.4 which shows us a river capture okay i think you can see everything we have a b c okay later a b c okay pointing on some features of a river capture okay let's jump to our questions by the way i did a lesson um before for river capture i think i have two lessons in this um channel for river cap so you can try to check them by the way i'm also going to put or refer a video to you to watch at the end of this lesson video to watch for your river capture as a lesson okay okay so question 2.4.1 says define the concept of river capture or define the concept of river capture what is river capture very simple guys simple as possible look a river capture this is whereby a river from a different drainage basin steals water from the other river from a different drainage basin or you can just say a river captures whereby a river steals water from the other river simple but the reason why I included or incorporated um drainage basins it's because between these rivers there's highland area which we call the watershed so this high lying area which we call the water the watershed this is the high lying area we call the watershed so this is drainage basin one let's say for example and this is drainage basin two for example so we have this river this river that is flowing on drainage basin two and we have this river that is flowing on drainage basin drainage basin one so that's why i incorporated drainage basin so that you know that when this river is stealing water, it steals from a different drainage basin. Okay? And that's how it goes. So, simple guys. So, a river capture this is whereby a river steals water from the other river. Simple. Okay. So, let's move to the um, second question. So, the second question says um, 2.4.2 identify the feature. Of river capture like bit a evident in 2.4 so what's this feature here what's this feature or this position here so this position that is pointed by letter a is called a wind gap that's a wind gap because you can see that there is no more river or some water body that is flowing there okay yes so it's a it's a wind gap and that's how it goes simple like that okay let's move to the next following question um 2.4.3 2.4.3 says why is stream b most likely to be the capture stream why this stream b okay this stream b is likely to be a capture stream you can see that this stream b has originated from from this stream okay yes from this point and invaded or eroded through the what through the watershed okay into the other river you can say that you know is your answer that's very correct you can say that river b eroded through the watershed or is the one or is the river that has eroded through the watershed that's number one number two you can say river b is the one that seems that has um much volume of water or or the potential to erode okay yes mm -hmm. yeah so that's why it's it's river b so river b is already through the watershed simple you are you were supposed to at least give one right yes so we are supposed to give one at least so that's very correct so let's move to the next one question 2.4.4 explain why the capture stream becomes rejuvenated after river capture okay so after river capture the capture stream becomes rejuvenated why 
it's because as much as you know that even before the river capture this river has much potential of erosion okay yes because there's much volume of water inside this river as a captured stream okay yes so when after the river capture meaning that there's more and more volume of water inside the capture stream meaning that there will be an increased levels of erosion okay yes that will erode the river downwards or that will erode the base level of the river so that's the reason why okay yes simple guys again let's make this simple guys so 2.4.5 says in a paragraph of approximately eight lines explain the physical and environment let's underline physical and environmental impact that river capture will have on Sum C. Okay, let me just erase that so that you can see that it's Sum C. And let me read again in a paragraph, approximately eight lines. Okay, I'm not going to write eight lines, guys. Okay, I'm just going to answer orally. Okay, at least I'm going to give you points so that I can construct from those points some sentences that make sense when answering during the examinations. So let's at least discuss or write appropriate eight lines explaining physical and environmental impact that river capture will have on stream c what do we call firstly stream c we call stream c a captured uh no so stream c is um it's a misfit stream okay yes so this stream will become a misfit stream okay yes so that is the captured stream okay let's say uh, this is this stream that is flowing there okay it's called a capture stream and this is a misfit stream okay yes so let's discuss the environmental and physical features let's start with physical features or physical negative um, impacts okay yes so number one this river will dry up okay that's a physical impact negative impact will dry up number two there will be more deposition that is trapped on inside this river okay yes why because there is more there is no more at least water that is flowing through this river or at least much nh2 to erode that um, deposited material okay to move downwards or away from that river okay yes so number one the physical the physical negative impact is that the river will dry up okay number two the physical bed is that the physical negative bed is that the river will have more um deposited material okay yes so that's how it goes so let's name at least now the environmental negative impacts so the area around this river okay the area around this river sea will dry up okay the area around this river sea will dry up as well as also inside the river there will be at least no water now okay because it's a misfit stream okay so meaning that now the animals that are living inside of the ecosystem will be disrupted as well as the animals will start to migrate from the river okay because of those disadvantages okay yes so the other thing that you can say is that um yeah so at least i've mentioned more than um four points from those two um environmental as well as um physical um impacts okay yeah so we can just take some points and try to construct them when i'm sorry in here the question paper and that's it so yeah yeah so guys please don't forget that this ri this river is called a it's called the capture stream because it's the one that is the water is torn from okay yes um and this river is a capture stream and this river is a capture stream this one is a capture stream with b or you can say it's a it's a pride stream or you can say it's a captive stream okay uh yeah so don't forget this is the watershed the hiding area okay yes and that's it guys and that's the end of our lesson video please don't forget to subscribe for more lesson contents thank you so much see you in the full video cheers